Hey, you've got fun kids right now. It's Connor here, and I'm joined by Zach and Jack. Jack and Zach. I mean, this works well. I'm liking it. It yeah. rhymes. Yeah, it rhymes. It rhymes. Zach, I wanted to come straight to you. You're a star. You're, you're, you're in the brand new Ron's Gone Wrong film, which is going to be an absolute hit. I wanted to come straight to you to just talk about the film itself. Just a little explanation for everybody that's excited for the film. A little bit of a breakdown of what it's about. Okay, Connor, I'll do it. Here we go. <laughs> By the way, my middle name is Knight. Oh. You and I, you and I may be related. I don't know. Uh, we very we very well could be. You um, never know. Maybe. Ron's Gone know. Wrong is a contemporary tale of um, a young man, Barney, who is, is really wanting a, uh, a technological toy that all of his peers have. He gets a bad one, the one that doesn't work very well, and it kind of forces him to figure out how to be a friend with this person. And in the meantime, uh, they kind of unlock what true friendship is is about man i'm very very impressed with myself to come come up with that off the top of my head that was no yeah i think i think you've done very well there it gives a good understanding of the film jack there's such a strong um sort of narrative of friendship within this film isn't there just a little bit of a understanding from from your point as to that sort of message that's being driven through in the film about friendship yeah, there's so, I think the, the, the main uh, overarching message of the film is, is the values of friendship and, and how I think that technology kind of hands it to us, this, this like social adeptness, which is not real, you know? And I think it makes it so much harder for us to really connect with real life humans, which is the point of life um, to connect with humans. Well, there's more points to life, but I think that that's a big one. And I think this movie capitalizes on the idea that that, that is so valuable. Still, in this day and age, you can't neglect real human connection. And, and although Ron is not a human, um, he's not a normal robot. He's not functioning like a robot. His coding is not like everybody, every other, every bot is, which is a pun I just came up with. Not bad. Uh, coding. I like it. Good. Yeah. Not bad. Um, Zach, <laughs> in, in the yeah, it was good. I liked it. Zach, in the film, the uh, the bee bots have like their own kind of individual skins, their sort of own designs. Now, if I was to hand you your own bee bot in your day to day life, just as being Zach, what would your bee bot look like? What do you reckon you design it like? Well, if you know anything about my brand, you know it's a leopard skin. Uh, no, uh, <laughs> I don't know. Um, <laughs> uh, I don't know. I, 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 that's a good. Uh, I think maybe that's a good question. What would I want it to look like? I think maybe just it would be it would have an anti technological message on it. Maybe. Well, I, 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 I thought maybe I could help. I thought maybe I could help you here Please. because I, I don't know whether you're like me, but I always lose my wallet, wallet, keys. I lose them all the time. So I'm thinking like a strong, bright color, luminous, you know, shines. So if ever I lose my friend, the Bebo, I, I know exactly where he is, I can spot him. I don't need to have to look for him. I need like a, a traffic cone color, that kind of thing. Yeah, kind of like a traffic. I mean, the Bebop can wear a traffic cone as well if it makes it easier for us. You know, he can oh. kind of do whatever we want him to do. Yeah, sure. <laughs> uh, Jack, also, this, this was kind of a really uh, interesting question that I wanted to get your take on. Um, being an actor, for both of you, how, how do you find working on animation itself? Like kind of connecting with the character that you're playing that is actually an animated character. Is it quite a, um, an interesting kind of thing for you as an actor to do? Well, the connecting thing with the character is much different than live action. I actually try not to put too much thought into it when I'm doing animation, just because I think that's a waste of my time. No offense. I mean, to, to that, I mean, it's not a waste of my time, but I think that, I think that it's, it's, um, I think the, the point of it is to just nail the voice and nail the motive, I guess, and read the lines. You know, don't look into it too much. It's really fun. I, I, really, I really love it. Um, animation is a blast. Yeah, I mean, it looks fantastic as well. Thank you so much for coming on to Fun Kids. It's going to be an absolute hit. Zach, Jack, Jack, Zach, thank you so thank you, much. Connor. And remember, wear your traffic cones, okay? Just wear your traffic cones yes, if you get lost. Wear your traffic cones. Always. <laughs> Cheers, guys.